I'm Michael Kaplan. I'm the director of uh, product marketing for professional rendering solutions at NVIDIA. And today I'll be showing you a demo of the NVIDIA iRay renderer in the active shade window of 3ds Max. So in the past, uh, Max included iRay as a production renderer for full, full final frame and animation rendering. But now with uh, the next release of Max and their subscription pack release coming out later this year, they've announced that they've integrated iRay as an Active Shade plugin. Active Shade is the interactive or real-time version of final frame rendering inside the Max so that you can edit the scene in the viewport and see it updating in real time with full global illumination as you edit. So here's a scene that I've loaded into Max. Uh, you can see this is my viewport, and what looks like a final frame up here is actually the iRay Active Shade window. I'm using the Maximus solution so that I have a Quadro 6000 driving the viewport and also computing, and a Tesla running just computing. So what you see is that as I move around in the scene, it will update the Active Shade window in real time using the iRay renderer with full, full final frame global illumination accuracy. And what you see is exactly what you'll get as a final frame. There's no difference. This is not a preview of the final result. This is the final result coming in over time. So now I'd like to show you the same scene running in on Amazon Web Services. This is a technology demonstration of how we could render uh, from Max using iRay in the cloud. So what we have here, what we've done is we've uploaded the scene from Max prior to this demo. I'm going now into simply a web browser. Now this is just a regular web browser going over a normal uh, moderate internet connection to Amazon Web Services and it's running on 32 GPUs simultaneously. This is the same exact scene I was running locally but we have the power of 32 GPUs. So here I can do the final, I can do an interactive design review. I can actually walk around the scene um, dynamically and so anybody with a web browser could do this. They don't need any local processing at all. And when I let up on the mouse, you'll see that it is making the final frame very, very, very fast because you have the 32 GPUs uh, all processing at the same time. So the idea here is that you essentially rent the cloud for uh, Amazon service for an hour. It's not very expensive. And uh, what you'll see is uh, that it's making a final frame quality in about a minute, something that normally would take a lot longer. So you can have an interactive design review with your customer using only a web browser on a scene that you were working with in Max uh, and in this technology demo, and you'll get exactly the same result that you would have gotten in the local version of Max. So to close, what you've seen is the new 3ds Max iRay Active Shade feature, which will be in the next release of Max from Autodesk. Uh, running locally and also the same scene uploaded to the cloud in a technology demo of processing design doing design reviews and high quality rendering on the Amazon uh, web services platform.